Here's a trick a friend of mine just showed me a couple days ago uh, for stripping the paint. Uh, this is a lot easier than what I've been doing, so I'm going to strip a lot of the remaining car in this method. It's a heat gun, and it actually works quite well. Just need to lay the heat on there for a few minutes. I'm using just a standard, very thin putty knife. Get it hot. Once you see the paint starting to starting to uh, soften, you just need to dig into it and then just follow it with the, with the uh, heat gun. This is actually a lot faster than the method I've been using. And I can go back after I've got the entire area stripped and cleaned up, I will go back with a, a DA sanding tool and probably 120 paper or 80 paper to start with and then finish it up with 120 paper before I go back and prime the area. Another positive note to this is I have been doing all my sanding outdoors to keep the dust down in the garage, but what this allows me to do is get all this cut off in the garage on rainy days and then I'll take it outside and, and use the DA to, to cut it all the way down to the sheet metal and smooth it up. Anyway, I've got a section over here that I've already uh, completed that way. I'll uh, move the camera around there and we'll and I'll show you that one. <clears throat> In this section here what I've done is I went through and stripped it the very same way and then I went back over it with um, with some uh, 80 grit paper and I will finish it up with 120 paper before I prime. I just
I had to film this. I didn't think anybody would believe me, but I pulled the deck lid off, the rear trunk lid. I pulled that off so that it would be easier for me to clean that up off the car. And uh, then I was also, I removed the rubber from the, um, from the uh, trunk, the old trunk seal. I removed that. And I'm looking up here and I saw something up here underneath the rubber once I pulled it apart. And when I took a really close look at it, it's two drill bits. They just seem to be laying in there. Apparently they rubbered over top of them. They weren't paying attention. Let's see if I could pry them out. I don't think they were welded in place. I'm more inclined to believe that they just laid them in there and maybe lost them. And when they put the rubber back, they weren't paying attention. So they glazed them in with the rubber. <laughs> 